zurück. Let us begin with a silent prayer. Lass uns mit einem stillen Gebet an. As usual, the notes are in the live stream group. And yesterday we looked at this topic about the throne of grace and the throne of glory. And we saw that during the investigative judgment, Jesus is still sitting there on the throne of grace. Wir haben gesehen, während des Untersuchungsgerichts sitzt Jesus da noch immer auf dem Thron der Gnade. And the rainbow is encircling his head. Und der Regenbogen ist um seinen Kopf herum. And he's offering us still mercy. Und er bietet uns immer noch Gnade an. But just like in the vision of Stephen, as Stephen saw then the heavens opened and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Und genauso wie der in der Vision von Stephanus hat er den Himmel geöffnet gesehen und Jesus an der rechten Seite Gottes stehen. Und wir saw the meaning uh, at the right hand of God was when he was interceding still. Right? Ja, wir haben gesehen, uh, also was es bedeutet, dass er an der rechten Seite Gottes ist, wenn er eben noch Fürsprache hält. So here at the end he was now standing, illustrating now how he moved from the throne of grace to the throne of glory. Also hier am Ende ist er dann aufgestanden und das sollte darstellen, wie er jetzt vom Thron der ähm, Gnade zum Thron der Herrlichkeit überging. And this was would be then in conjunction with what we looked at with Revelation 10 verse 1 changing to Revelation 10 verse 2. Das wäre in Übereinstimmung mit dem was wir uns angeschaut hatten, dass wo es von Offenbarung 10 Vers 1 zu Offenbarung 10 Vers 2 übergeht. So because in Revelation 10 verse 1 the mighty angel comes down um, with a rainbow around his head with a cloud. In Offenbarung 10 Vers 1 kommt dieser mächtige Engel herunter mit dem Regenbogen um seinen Kopf und dieser Wolke. But in verse 2 it says now the books are or the book is open the judgment is set the books are open. Aber in Vers 2 sagt es, dass jetzt das Gericht sich gesetzt hat und die Bücher geöffnet sind. Okay, good. And um, in this presentation we want to look at um, more fully at this transition point between uh, the throne of grace and the throne of glory. Und in diesem Studium wollen wir uns uh, noch mehr diesen Übergangspunkt zwischen dem Thron der Gnade und dem Thron der Herrlichkeit anschauen. But also what happens here at the end of the final review. Aber auch was hier am Ende der finalen Überprüfung passiert. All right. So please go to this first quote. Bitte geht zum ersten Zitat. Under the heading it is finished. Unter der Überschrift es ist vollbracht. It says when Christ cried it is finished. God's unseen hand rent the strong fabric composing the veil of the temple from top to bottom. The way into the holiest of all was made manifest. God bowed his head satisfied. Now his justice and mercy could blend. He could be just and yet to justify of all who should believe on Christ. He looked upon the victim expiring on the cross and said, It is finished. 
The human race shall have another trial. The redemption price was paid and Satan fell like lightning from heaven. So here we see at the ninth hour Christ cried, it is finished. Hier sehen wir in der neunten Stunde hat Christus gerufen, es ist vollbracht. But also the father then said it is finished. Aber auch der Vater hat gesagt, es ist vollbracht. And when we go to the next quote. Und gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It says all heaven had united with Jesus as they heard the fearful words, it is done, it is finished. The plan of salvation had been accomplished, but few had chosen to accept it. And as mercy's sweet voice died away, fear and horror seized the wicked. With terrible distinctness, they heard the words, too late, too late. Okay, so this, these words, it is done or it is finished, come at the close of probation. Right? Also diese Worte, es ist geschehen, es ist verbracht, kommen am Ende der Gnadenzeit. When mercy dies away. Wenn die Gnade eben aufhört. And we know this is the time of mercy, right? Wir wissen, das hier ist die Zeit der Gnade. So, It sees us and he says, it is finished, it is done. So, you know, it's the same thing as this word says, it's the same thing. Right? Okay, so. It is finished, I just write it is done because it's just short and it's the same thing. So, I write it is finished. Okay, and we saw both the father and the son said it at the same time. Right? Wir haben gesehen, sowohl der Vater als auch der Sohn haben es zur selben Zeit gesagt. Good. Now, please go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It says, I saw angels hurrying to and fro in heaven. An angel with a writer's inkhorn by his side returned from the earth and reported to Jesus that his work was done, and the saints were numbered and sealed. So, where do we find this illustration of the angel with the writer's inkhorn? Wo finden wir diese Darstellung vom Engel mit dem Schreibwerkzeug? In Ezekiel 9. Okay. In Ezekiel 9. So just go down below the quote, it's Ezekiel 9, verse 3 to 4. Geht unter das Zitat zu Ezekiel 9, Vers 3 und 4. It says, And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's income by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, so... <clears throat> We can see, uh, yesterday we looked at this already, uh, you're sealed here at the end of the investigative judgment, right? Wir haben das gestern schon angeschaut, dass man am Ende vom Untersuchungsgericht versiegelt wird. So it's all those that sigh and cry in here. All diejenigen, die hier drin seufzen und klagen. They get the seal put on their foreheads, right? Dann wird das Stirn, uh, also das Siegel an die Stirn. Yes, and that's the man with the writer's ink on. Okay. Das ist eben der Mann mit dem Schreibwerkzeug. And we'll come to this uh, in the later presentation. Zu einem späteren Vortrag werden wir darauf noch zurückkommen. The crying is the calling unto God. Dieses Rufen ist, dass man eben Gott anruft. Yes. So it says this morning we saw, cry thou me in the day of trouble and I will deliver thee. Right. Das haben wir heute Morgen auch gelesen. Also rufe mich an in den Tag der Trübsal und ich werde dich befreien. Good. Let's go up again to the quote. Gehen wir wieder zum Zitat hinauf. Where we left off. Wo wir aufgehört hatten. So the angel with the writer's ink on comes now to Jesus and says, "Okay, everybody's sealed." Der Engel mit dem Schreibwerkzeug kommt jetzt zu Jesus und sagt, jeder wurde versiegelt. Then I saw Jesus, who had been ministering before the ark containing the Ten Commandments, throw down the censer. He raised his hands and with a loud voice said, "It is." Done. Okay, so he throws down the sensor. Now, where do we find this? Wir wirft das Räuchergefäß runter. Wo finden wir das? Revelation. Revelation. Right. In Offenbarung 8. Okay, so just go down again. You have Revelation 8, verse 1 to 5, marked there. Geht noch mal hinunter. Da ist auch Offenbarung 8, Vers 1 bis 5. So it says in verse 1. In Vers 1 sagt es. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. So, the seventh seal is opened here, right? The seventh seal will be here. Okay, 
So it's opened in verse 2. And that's verse 2. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. So, when the seven angels give you now this trumpet message, this warning, right, of the judgment to come. Wenn die sieben Engel jetzt diese um, Posaunenbotschaft geben, also diese Warnung vor dem Gericht, was kommen wird. At the same time, what goes on? Was findet zur selben Zeit statt? According to these verses. Mit diesen Versen. Christ interceding, right? Das Christus Fürsprache. Okay. So, he's interceding, but then in verse 5. Er hält Fürsprache, aber in Vers 5. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. So that's what we read in the quote, right? Das haben wir im Zitat gelesen. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. So that would be now here, right? Das wäre hier. Mm -hmm. So, and in the quote we read, he said, it is done. In dem Zitat haben wir gelesen, da hat er gesagt, es ist geschehen. But in principle, this would be the same for this group here, right? Vom Prinzip her wäre das dasselbe wie diese Gruppe hier. Yeah, so, okay, so it is done, right? Also er sagt, es ist geschehen. Good. So, good. Now, let's go back up to the quote. Jetzt gehen wir hinauf, wieder zum Zitat. So we left off where it says it is done. Wir haben dort aufgehört zu lesen, wo es gesagt hat, es ist geschehen. And all the angelic host laid off their crowns as Jesus made the solemn declaration. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Okay, so when he says now it is done, what does he also say? Wenn er sagt, es ist geschehen, was sagt er auch noch? He that is uh, right, uh, unjust, let him be unjust still, and so on and so forth, right? Der ungerecht ist, sei weiter und ungerecht. Ja. Das sind diese zwei Klassen, die sich nicht mehr verändern können. Yes. Okay, and therefore the separation can take place, right? Deswegen kann die Trennung stattfinden. And so on so on forth. Okay. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Okay. Der ungerecht ist, sei weiterhin ungerecht. Okay. Good. Um, now, uh, please go to the next heading, the executive judgment. Jetzt bitte geht zur nächsten Überschrift, das ausführende Gericht. And this is why she has this vision about the executive judgment. Und da hat er in weit diese Vision über das ausführende Gericht. It says, on the morning of October 23rd, 1879, about two o'clock, the Spirit of the Lord rested upon me, and I beheld scenes in the coming judgment. Language fails me in which to give an adequate description of the things which passed before me and of the effect they had upon my mind. The great day of the execution of God's judgment seemed to have come. So, it's now the final review, right? Das ist die finale Überprüfung. Execution of God's judgment. Also die Verstreckung von Gottes Gericht. And let's just turn quickly in our Bibles to Daniel chapter 7. Gehen wir in unseren Bibeln schnell zu Daniel 7. Verse 9 to 10. Vers 9 bis 10. says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Right? 
So here we see this throne. We see all the 10,000 times 10,000 of angels. Hier right? sehen wir diesen Thron und diese 10.000 mal 10.000 Engel. And the judgment is set and the books are opened. Das okay. Gericht hat sich gesetzt und die Bücher wurden geöffnet. Right here. Das ist hier. Yes. Same principle is there. Okay. Das selbe Prinzip wie hier. How do we know that this is also here? Woher wissen wir, dass es auch hier ist? Based upon the scripture. Basierend auf einer Schrift. Offenbarung 4. Okay. Yes. Okay, but uh, let's go to Matthew 22. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 22. Matthew 22. Matthäus 22. Because here he sends out these servants for the wedding feast, right? Weil hier sendet er diese Knechte aus äh, für das Hochzeitsmahl. And in beginning of verse 4 he sent, sends the second group of servants. Und in Vers 4 Anfang sendet er die zweite Gruppe der Diener. But they reject them and it says now in verse 6 and 7. Und sie verwerfen sie und deswegen sagt es in Vers 6 und 7. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. So what is this? What is this? Destruction of Jerusalem. Destruction of Jerusalem. Right? Jerusalem. Would be here, right? Das wäre hier. Yeah, but in order that he destroys here Jerusalem, what kind of judgment is this? Aber damit er Jerusalem hier zerstören kann, welches Gericht ist das? Yeah, it's executive judgment. Das right? Verstärkungsgericht. So therefore, there must have been this final review beforehand, Deswegen right? Deswegen muss diese finale Überprüfung zuvor gewesen sein. Because who's the king destroying now? Wer ist der König, der hier zerstört? Ah, Christ, right? Christus. Okay, so therefore we can see the uh, same pattern also just before this judgment here. Okay. Daher können wir dasselbe Muster sehen, auch sofort diesem Gericht. Let's go also to Jude, chapter 1. Gehen wir auch zu Judas, Brief 1. Vers 14 to 15. Vers 14 bis 15. So it's and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have committed, uh, the, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Okay. That's the final yes. That he convinces you. Yes, exactly. Okay. finale Überprüfung, wenn er dich überzeugt von all deinen gottlosen Taten. So here we see it says he comes to execute judgment here, right? Hier sagt es, er kommt, um das Gericht auszuführen. And he comes again with 10,000 of his saints. Okay. Er kommt wieder mit 10,000 in seine Heiligen. Just like we saw in Daniel 7. Genauso wie in Daniel 7 das gesehen yes. haben. Yes, and he will convince you now of your ungodly deeds. This is what we can read here in this quote. Okay. Also er wird es jetzt von all diesen gottlosen Taten überführen und das können wir auch äh, in diesem Zitat lesen. So let's go back to the quote. Gehen wir zurück zum Zitat. Let's just begin in the second paragraph again. Und wir fangen wieder im zweiten Absatz an. It says, the great day of the execution of God's judgment seemed to have come. Ten thousand times ten thousand were assembled before a large throne. So here we see these. 10, of saints, right? Hier sehen wir diese zehntausenden Heiligen. Upon which was seated a person of majestic appearance. So who would this be? Wer wäre Christ. das? Yeah, it's Christ now, right? Christus. Several books were before him, and upon the covers of each was written in letters of gold, which seemed like a burning flame of fire, ledger of heaven. So these are now the books, the judgment is set and the books are Open. opened. Okay. Das sind jetzt diese Bücher, also das Gericht hat sich gesetzt und die Bücher wurden geöffnet. One of these books containing the names of those who claim to believe the truth was then opened. So, who? Names of those that professed to believe the truth, right? Das sagt die Namen derer, die sich zur Wahrheit bekannt haben. And, for instance, in the investigative judgment, whose cases are only dealt with? In dem Untersuchungsgericht, wessen Fälle werden nur behandelt? 
yeah, the professed people of God, right? Yeah, bekennen uh, Volk Gottes. So those that, yeah, those that uh, have obtained the new birth experience, right? Diejenigen, die die Neugeburtserfahrung erhalten haben. Okay, so, but, will everybody, everybody pass the investigative judgment of those? Aber wird jeder no. von ihnen das Untersuchungsgericht bestehen? No. Because of two goats. Yes. And, and that's what it teaches you, there's, there's two classes right there. Mm -hmm. Nein, weil es äh, lehrt uns äh, hier, dass es diese zwei Klassen gibt, wie die, diese zwei Böcke. Ja, yeah, Parable of the Wise and Foolish Virgins, the two classes among the professed virgins. Right? Das Gleichnis von Törichten und klugen Jungfrauen, da kann man sehen, es gibt zwei Klassen von Jungfrauen, von denen, die bekennen. Jungfrauen zu sein. Ja. Von denjenigen, die bekennen, Jungfrauen zu sein. Aha. Okay, so let's uh, continue because a virgin is somebody who professes the pure faith. faith also, right? a young person is someone who has a pure faith. It goes on to say. Sag weiter. Um, immediately, I lost sight of countless millions about the. Immediately. Yeah, immediately, yes. Okay. Yeah. Also sofort steht hier. So immediately, put us in the sickle. Right? Sofort wirft er die Sichel rein. Immediately, I lost sight of the countless millions about the throne. And only those who were professedly children of the light and of the truth engaged my attention. As these persons were named one by one, in the good deeds mentioned, their countenances would light up with a holy joy that was reflected in every direction. But this did not seem to rest upon my mind with the greatest force. Another book was opened, wherein were recorded the sins of those who professed the truth. Under the general heading of selfishness came every other sin. So now he conven convinces them of their ungodly deeds. Okay? Jetzt überzeugte sie von ihren gottlosen Taten. And he shows them it's basically selfishness that is the root cause of all the ungodly deeds. Und er zeigt ihnen im Grunde, dass es Selbstsucht ist, die diese, das Wurzelproblem äh, von all ihren gottlosen Taten war. There were also headings of every column, uh, over every column. And underneath these, opposite each name, were recorded in their respective columns the lesser sins. Under covetousness came falsehood, theft, robbery, fraud, and avarice. Under ambition came pride and extravagance. Jealousy stood at the head of malice, envy, and hatred. And intemperance headed a long list of fearful crimes, such as lasciviousness, adultery, indulgence of animal passions, etc. As I beheld, I was filled with inex inexpressible anguish and exclaimed, Who can be saved? Who will stand justified before God? Whose robes are spotless? Who are faultless in the sight of a pure and holy God? Okay, so what does he cry out? What does she cry out? Who can be saved? Yeah, who can be saved, right? I mean, the disciples also cried this out, right? Die Jünger haben das auch ausgerufen. But let's go to Malachi chapter 3 in your Bible. Aber gehen wir zu Malachi 3 in der Schule. Vers 1. Vers 1. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Where does he come to? Wohin kommt er? To his temple. To his temple. Even the messenger of this covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. So, where does he come to this temple here in verse 1? Wo kommt er zu diesem Tempel in Vers 1? Yeah, so we saw this is here, right? Here beim Untersuchungsgericht. This temple cleansing here. Das okay. Diese Tempelreinigung. Okay, and then verse 2. Jetzt Vers 2. But who may abide in the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap, right? So when he comes here Sunday to his temple, you already say, who is able to stand, right? Wenn er hier schon also zu seinem Tempel kommt, dann sagst du schon, wer ist in der Lage zu bestehen. Uh, but Sister White, now she said it in here, when now he comes to the temple here for the executive judgment, right? Aber Ellen White hat das hier ähm, gesagt, als also wenn er kommt äh, zum Tempel für das Ausführende Gericht. Uh, same, same pattern, yeah? So whenever he comes to his temple, you say, oh, 
who's able to bear this, okay? Das ist dasselbe Muster. Immer wenn er zu seinem Tempel kommt, dann wirst du sagen, wer kann das ertragen? Okay, and eventually, uh, when this glory comes, what did all the wicked do in the temple? Letztendlich, wenn diese Herrlichkeit kommt, was haben oh. all die Bösen im Tempel getan? They fled away, yes. right? Sind weggeflohen. Okay, because they were, oh, who can be saved? I'm lost, okay? Weil sie haben gesagt, wer kann gerettet werden? Ich bin verloren. This is the same thing. It's short. You know, in Malachi 3, verses 1 to 4, it says, who shall be able to stand? But when you go to Revelation 6, verse 17, it marks the next way mark, and it says the same thing. Also, Malachi sagt, dass wer ist in der Lage zu bestehen, aber wenn man zu Offenbarung 6 geht, dort ist es die nächste Weg. Revelation 6, 17. Offenbarung 6, Vers 17. Vers 17. Not just Malachi, Malachi 3, 1-4, specifically. Also Malachi 3, verse 1-4, that's where they ask who can stand, but in Offenbarung 6, verse 17, that's where they are going to be in the next way. Okay, let's go to Revelation 6, 17. Okay, let's go to Revelation 6, 17. Okay, let's go to Revelation 6, 17. Verse 16 to 17. Also, let's read 16 and 17. And he said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who is able to stand? He's sitting on the throne. Yes. Okay, so here he asks who is able to stand. Right? Good. Now, let's go back to the quote. And let's read the last paragraph of this section here. Und lesen wir den letzten Absatz von diesem Zitat. The section of the quote, also von diesem Teil des Zitats. Ah, von diesem Teil des Zitates. It says, As the Holy One upon the throne slowly turned the leaves of the ledger, and his eyes rested for a moment upon individuals, his glance seemed to burn into their very souls. And at the same moment, every word and action of their lives passed before their minds as clearly as though traced before their vision in letters of fire. Uh, so what did his eyes do? Was tun seine Augen? Burned into them, right? Ja, mit sie reingebrannt. What, what did this light say about when he came into the temple here? Was hat ein Light darüber gesagt, yes. als er hier zum Tempel kam? Searching glance, the same thing, right? Yes. Also dieser mm. durchforschende Blick, also wir können alle Sünden lesen. And it says here, in the same moment, every word, action of their lives passed before their minds as clearly as though traced before their vision in letters of fire. Mm. Okay. Also hier sagt es, dass in einem Moment ist dann jedes Wort, jede Handlung ähm, so klar ähm, vor, ihrem, vor ihrer Sicht oder ihrem Verstand gekommen, äh, als würden sie in Buchstaben aus Feuer geschrieben werden. Okay. People, yeah, when people... They many times give testimony of these things, right? Leute geben sehr oft Zeugnis darüber. When they were in a in a near death experience. Wenn sie in einer ähm, Nahtoderfahrung waren. Yeah, they many say, okay, my life passed in a flash before me. Okay. Viele sagen, mein Leben ist wie in einem Blitz an mir vorübergezogen. Yeah. So they, yeah. They had another chance than given by God, that the Lord want them. Okay. Also, in wurde eine andere, also eine weitere Chance gegeben um, in ihrem Leben, aber der Herr hat sie gewarnt. Das wie meine meine Tekel umfassen diese Buchstaben aus Feuer. Yes, exactly. And then Daniel interpreted his life right. He said, "Look what you did. You, yeah. you did this wickedness." Okay. Und Daniel hat dann sein Leben also gedeutet und hat dann gesagt, schau, was du getan hast, diese Bosse. Okay, let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. Bold-faced. Im Fett gedruckten. Oh, uh, uh, no, sorry, the sentence just before bold-faced, it says... Also der Satz kurz vor dem Fett gedruckten. Trembling sees them and their faces turned pale. Their first appearance when around the throne was that of careless indifference. But how changed their appearance now? So there were these careless and different people, right? Das waren diese sorglosen und gleichgültigen Leute. That's the church and the world, right? Und the world was these indifferent people. Okay. Die Welt und die Welt waren die sorglosen. But how changed the appearance now? The feeling of security is gone, and in its place a nameless terror. 
A dread is upon every soul, lest he shall be found among those who are wanting. Every eye is riveted upon the face of the one upon the throne, and as his solemn searching eye sweeps over that company, there is a quaking of heart, for they are self-condemned without one word being uttered. So this would be... Das wäre was? The self-condemned without one word being uttered. Wenn sie selbst verdammt sind und können kein Wort aussprechen. Matthew 22, right? Das wäre Matthäus 22. This is just below the quote, just go there, please. Also, it's genau unter dem Zitat geht da jetzt hin. Matthew 22, 11 to 13. Matthäus 22, Vers 11 bis 13. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw that a man which had not on a wedding garment. So and that we understand is when Christ is now king, he comes in, right? Wir verstehen, dass es wenn Christus König ist und er reinkommt. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So. Hier now he then executes the judgment on him, right? Hier führt er jetzt das Gericht über ihn aus. Okay. So this is when he convinces you of your ungodly deeds and you have nothing to justify your ungodly deeds, okay? Dann überzeugt er dich von deinen gottlosen Taten und du hast nichts, womit du deine gottlosen Taten rechtfertigen kannst. All these justifications we bring up now in this life, they will not stand in his judgment, okay? All diese Rechtfertigungen, die wir in diesem Leben äh, hervorbringen, die werden nicht bestehen. Okay. And we can justify ourselves before men or to ourselves, but not before God. Okay. Wir können uns vor Menschen oder vor uns selbst rechtfertigen, aber nicht vor Gott. And let's go back to, up to the quote, the last sentence of this uh, paragraph. Gehen wir nochmal hoch zum Zitat und den letzten uh, Satz dieses Absatzes. In anguish of soul, each declares his own guilt, and with terrible vividness sees that by sinning, he has thrown away the precious boon of eternal life. So now all those people that are lost, they now confess their guilt, right? So all the people who are lost, they now confess their guilt. It's just like after the thousand years, everybody will bow down, even Satan, and they will say, Lord, you're righteous, right? Also, wie nach den tausend Jahren, da wird jeder, auch Satan, sich niederbeugen und sagen, Herr, du bist gerecht. So let's go to Matthew 27. Gehen wir jetzt zu Matthäus 27. Vers 1 to 5. Vers 1 bis 5. Just to see this illustration when they confess their guilt. Um okay. diese Darstellung zu sehen, wenn sie ihre Schuld bekennen. But when it's already too late. Aber wenn es schon zu spät ist. Says when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, he repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned, and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple, and departed, and went and hanged himself. So here, what did he do? He confessed his guilt, right? Also, was hat er getan? Er hat seine Schuld bekannt. But it was too late. Okay. Es war zu spät. Because he rejected this sop here, which was his last opportunity. Right? Weil er hat diesen Bissen hier verworfen, was seine letzte Möglichkeit war. Okay, and then he confessed his guilt and committed suicide. Yeah. Und dann hat er seine Schuld bekannt und hat hier Selbstmord äh, gemacht. Okay, good. Now let's go to the next heading. Gehen wir jetzt zur nächsten Überschrift. No condemnation to the righteous. Keine Verdammnis für die Gerechten. John chapter 5. Johannes 5. Verse 22. Vers 22. Says, For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. And which judgment hath he committed to the Son? Welches Gericht hat er dem Sohn übergeben? Executive. Yeah, executive judgment. Mm -hmm. Let's confirm this in 27. Das ausführende Gericht, und das bestätigen wir in Vers 27. And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the son of man. Good. So, and then please go up to verse 24 again. Jetzt geht noch mal bitte hinauf zu Vers 24. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that hath sent me, 
hath eternal life, or everlasting life, rather, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So if you accept Christ, right? When you Christus annimmst, what will you not come? You come not into condemnation, right? in die So the condemnation is this here, right? Die Verdammnis ist ja das hier. Okay, so therefore you will be, I mean, in the final review we see they are the both classes, right? The wheat and the tares, the sheep and the goats. Okay. In der finalen Überprüfung sehen wir diese zwei Klassen, Weizen, Unkraut, Schaf und Böcke. But the righteous, they will not be under condemnation here. Aber die okay. Gerechten werden hier nicht unter Verdammnis sein. Because it says, you know, you read in Galatians, you read all those points that represent the whole spirit. You know, there's those two clauses. Mm -hmm. It says, um, ah, there's no law. It says there, Okay, let's just go there. Galatians chapter 5. Okay. Gehen wir zu Galater 5. Galater 5, 22 und 23 steht das. So Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23. Galater 5, 22 bis 23. Now we just read it because of the better sound. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Right? So when you have this, there's no law that is to condemn you. Okay? Wenn du das hast, dann gibt es kein Gesetz, was dich verdammt. And this is also what Sister White confirms in the next quote here. Das ist auch das, was er weiter im nächsten Zitat bestätigt. She says here the following. <laughs> Consider these great and solemn truths that concern us. The plain facts are set before us for a purpose, that we shall not be negligent to prepare for that great and grand review. So what is she speaking about? Über was spricht sie? The final review, right? The final überprüfung. So great grand review. For those whose names are written in the book of life, it is no judgment at all. Every case has been decided, and all those whose names are not written in the book of life shall be judged according to their works. Right? So those that stand here in the book of life, it's no judgment for them at all. Okay? But those that are not in this book anymore, they will be condemned. Okay. Und diejenigen, die da nicht mehr in dem Buch stehen, werden verdammt werden. Okay, and we looked at this here, right? There are two classes among the professed people of God. Und wir haben uns das angeschaut. Hier gibt es zwei Klassen unter dem bekennenden Volk Gottes. During the investigative judgment. Während des Untersuchungsgerichts. Here they are both still together, right? Sie sind beide noch zusammen. Because it says, let them grow together until the harvest. Okay. Es sagt, lass sie zusammen wachsen bis zur Ernte. So, in Let's go now to Revelation 3, verse 5. Jetzt gehen wir zur 3, Vers 5. It says, He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. So when you overcome in here, in the investigative judgment, what will you not do with your name? Was wird er nicht mit deinem Namen tun? Your name will remain yeah. in the book of life. Yeah, your name will remain in the book of life. Okay. Dein Name wird im Buch des Lebens bleiben. But those people, the professed people of God, whose names are written in the book of life, that will not overcome here. Aber das bekennende Volk Gottes, deren Namen im Buch des Lebens stehen, aber nicht hier drin überwinden. Their names will be blotted out here. Ihre Namen werden hier ausgetickt. Out of the book of life. Okay. Aus dem Buch des Lebens. And then we read in the great grand review. If your name is still in the book of life, it's no judgment at all for you. Wir haben gelesen der großen finalen Überprüfung, wenn dein Name im Buch des Lebens steht, dann ist es für dich gar kein Gericht. But if it's not there anymore, then you have a problem. Und wenn es hier nicht mehr drinne steht, dann hast du ein Problem. Because then the condemnation comes upon you. Weil dann kommt die Verdammnis über dich. Okay, so let's go now back to the next heading. Gehen wir jetzt zur nächsten Überschrift. And that would be again this. Quote that we read about the executive judgments, just a continuation. Das wäre wieder, um, das ist eine Fortsetzung von dem Zitat, was wir über das Ausführungsgericht gelesen haben. So, 
It says here, the question was then asked. So what does he do now? Was macht er jetzt? Ask these hard ask questions. Ask these hard questions. Right? Die Fragen. Now just remind ourselves, let's go in your Bible to Daniel chapter 1. Zur Erinnerung, uh, gehen wir zu Daniel 1 in der Bibel. Verse 15 to 16. Verse 15 to 16. It says, And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzer took away the portion of the meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse. Mm -hmm. right, so that would be then here at the end of the investigative judgment. Right? Das Ende des Take away the filthy garments and give Change of raiment. Then verse 18 to 20. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realms. So here, they're now before the king, right? And he asked them all these questions. Okay? And they have all this wisdom, therefore they're ten times better. Right? But these magicians and astrologers, they would be the ones that are not in the book of life anymore. Für die Magier und Astrologen sind diejenigen, die nicht mehr im Buch des Lebens stehen. Okay. So when we go back to the court, this is now these hard questions that he asked in the final review. Okay. Never can ask asking them. Jetzt gehen wir zurück zum Zitat und das wäre jetzt all diese schwierigen Fragen, die die Bukatnezer in der finalen Überprüfung stellt. It says The question was then asked, why have you not washed your robes of character and made them white in the blood of the Lamb? That would be here, right? Das wäre hier. Uh, you must wash them, I mean, you must wash them already all the way along, but that's this final washing, right? You must see the Kleider the ganze Zeit natürlich waschen, but that is the last washing. And this foot washing, okay? This foot washing. Um, God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that through him it might be saved. My love for you has been more self-denying than a mother's love. It was that I might blot out your dark record of iniquity and put the cup of salvation to your lips, that I suffered to the death of the cross, bearing the weight and curse of your guilt. Uh, so the cross is what you see in here, right? Das Kreuz siehst du ja hier drin. So he basically asks you, why did you reject this revelation, okay? Er fragt dich im Grunde, warum hast du die Offenbarung abgelehnt? The pangs of death and the horrors of the darkness of the tomb I endured, that I might conquer him who had the power of death, unbar the prison house and open for you the gates of life. I submitted to shame and agony because I loved you with an infinite love, and would bring back my wayward wandering sheep to the paradise of God, to the tree of life. That life of bliss which I purchased for you at such a cost, you have disregarded. Shame, reproach and ignominy, such as your master bore for you, you have shunned. The, privilege, the privileges he died to bring within your reach have not been appreciated. You would not be partaker of his sufferings, and you cannot now be partaker with him of his glory. Then were uttered these solemn words, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. The book then closed, and the mantle fell from the person on the throne, revealing the terrible glory of the Son of God. Okay, so here clearly it says Christ is on the throne. Right? Here sagt es klar, dass Christus auf dem Thron ist. Okay, so in the books closed, and while he was closing books, right, he was uttering this. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and so on and so forth. Right? So we saw 
it was said here at the end of the investigative judgment, right? Wir haben also gesehen, es wurde hier am Ende des Untersuchungsgerichts gesagt. But now it says it's also at the end of the final review. Right? Aber jetzt sagt er das auch am Ende der finalen Überprüfung. It's nice because it, it just confirms this in the bigger fight form that we knew before. Das ist schön, weil das bestätigt einfach das auf dem größeren Fraktal, was wir schon zuvor gesehen haben. Exactly. So, because that would be a parallel to here, right? Weil das hier wäre eine Parallele dazu. Okay, so here is a group being um, fixed or the destiny fixed in here as well, right? Hier gibt es eine Gruppe, deren Schicksal besiegelt wird und hier auch. Okay, and it's just a parallel here on the smaller fractal. We saw when he threw down the censer, he said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Das wäre eine Parallele zu dem kleineren Fraktal. Also wir haben gesehen, wenn er das Räuchergefäß runterwirft, dann sagt er, wer ungerecht ist, sei weiterhin ungerecht. Then he stands up from the throne of grace and goes to the throne of glory to now do the final review, right? Und dann steht er auf vom Thron der Gnade und geht zum Thron der Herrlichkeit, um die finale Überprüfung durchzuführen. And now when he's king and he now looks at these books, at the end of it, he says, you remain unrighteous. Okay. Wenn der König ist und sich diese Bücher anschaut, dann sagt am Ende, du bleibst ungerecht. Der müsste dort irgendwie auch das Räuchergefäß runterwerfen, weil es sind ja die heißen Kohlen, die das Gericht ausführen wird. Yes. And We'll, uh, we'll also post maybe another quote, but let's first go to Revelation chapter 16. Also, we gehen wir jetzt noch zuerst zur Offenbarung 16. And verse 17 to 18. Vers 17 bis 18. It says, And the seventh angel poured out his wine into the air. So, which plague? Which plague? Seventh plague. Yes. Siebte plague. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. And there, was, there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. Okay, so we saw here when he <coughs> cast down the censer, he said, it is done, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Right? We have seen here, when he throws the rocket down and says, it is done, then he says, who is unjust, is still unjust. And there was a great earthquake. And there was a great earthquake, yeah. A big earthquake. And here, when the seventh plague now begins, again, the voice comes and says, it is done. Right? Here, when the seventh plague begins, says the voice again, it is done. And it also said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And it says, who is unjust, is still unjust. And it is a great earthquake. And it's a great earthquake. Yes. It's a great earthquake. Yes. So that would be then a parallel to here, right? That's here. We're in a parallel to the earthquake when he went into the grave, and the earthquake when he came out of the grave. Yes. It's got an earthquake when he went into the grave, and an earthquake when he came out of the grave. Because when you read in Revelation 8, he cast down the censer, it says the same thing as it does in Revelation 16. Let's just go. I mean, here, the second one. That's what I'm talking about, Revelation 16, verse 18. Let's see, Revelation 7, verse 18. Also, Revelation 16, verse 18, that's where the third baby is. Okay, let's just go here to Revelation 16, verse 18 again. Da fängt die siebte Plage an. Gehen wir noch jetzt auf Revelation 16, verse 18. Says, and there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake. So what were there? Voices, thunders, lightnings and earthquake. Right? And also later it says great hail. Right? So if you go now to Revelation 8 again. And verse 5, it says, And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth, 
and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. It's the same things. So, but Revelation 8 would be, verse 5 would be here, at least in principle. Yeah. Also auf Nummer 8, Vers 5 wäre hier vom Prinzip her vollkommenerweise ist das dort. And then Revelation 16, verse 18 is here, right? Auf Nummer 16, Vers 18 ist hier. Okay, so therefore you have that here and there. Okay, good. <coughs> now let's go also to this um, next quote. Gehen wir jetzt auch zum nächsten Zitat. It says, It is at midnight that God manifests his power for the deliverance of his people. The sun appears shining in its strength. Signs and wonders follow in quick succession. The wicked look with terror and amazement upon the scene, while the righteous behold with solemn joy the tokens of their deliverance. Everything in nature seems to seems turned out of its course. The streams cease to flow, dark heavy clouds come up and clash against each other. In the midst of the angry heavens is one clear space of indescribable glory. Whence comes the voice of God like the sound of many waters saying, It is done. Revelation 16, verse 17. So that would be now this year, right? Das wäre das hier. Seventh plague. Siebte Plage. The, that voice shakes the heavens and the earth. There is a mighty earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. So you have then this shaking of heaven and earth there, right? Da gibt es hier Schüttung von Himmel und Erde. Mark already marked it here. Und das hat Mark hier schon markiert. And this great earthquake. Dieses große Erdbeben. If you just jump down to the next bold faced. Geht hinunter zum nächsten fett gedruckten. Says the proudest cities of the earth are laid low. So it's a judgment already on cities here, right? Das ist schon ein Gericht über Städte. So, but we know this is a parallel to this here. Yes? Wir wissen aber, das hier ist eine Parallele zu dem hier. So here Jerusalem or Babylon gets punished, right? Wird Jerusalem oder Babylon bestraft. But Jerusalem is this literal Jerusalem. Jerusalem is here this buchstäbliche Jerusalem. This literal temple, right? Dieser buchstäbliche Tempel. Illustrated also by 9-11. Der auch dargestellt wird durch 9-11. Okay, so here we know it speaks about the destruction of Jerusalem, God's people, right? Also here we know it speaks about the destruction of Jerusalem, God's people. Yeah, the first fruits of Egypt. Yeah, but you also have, yeah. Exactly, yeah, you have here the first fruits of Egypt, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and also the first fruits of Egypt. Um, okay. they, they must, the ones that get destroyed in Jerusalem, they must be the first fruits of Egypt. That's what, that's what it must represent. They, 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 didn't have the, they didn't have the wedding gown on, they didn't have the blood on the doorpost, and when the when the uh, destroying angel flew over, he didn't see the wedding gown on, and he destroyed them. And that's, mm -hmm. I mean, the only problem I would have is uh, because it would be Egypt destroying Jerusalem, right? The king of the north punishes. Uh, yeah, but no, the, the, it is. I mean, the, the destroying angel there is the, is the king of the north. Punishes. Yeah, yeah but, I mean, but, but there is own. Remember, Satan in Isaiah 19 he says, "I'll give you over into the hands of a strange king." So you're given over into his hands. So it's the, it's the, okay. I know that he. I mean, leads. Pharaoh was the king of the north, right? Yes. And so I don't know. I don't know to bring this this thought that you have together with other other Okay. Good. <coughs> so. But the point is, here it says in the seventh plague, in this court here, right, the cities are brought down of Babylon, right? Also, the point is, in this Zitat sagt es, dass um, diese Städte yeah. hier im Anfang der siebten Plage yeah. von Babylon gestürzt sind. Das ist in Matthew 22, right? It says he burns up their cities. So we already looked at this, must be the, the, the cities that get burnt up, must be these institutions, like Rico, for instance. Matthäus 22 sagt, dass er verbrennt ihre Stadt. Und das haben wir schon mal besprochen, das sind diese Institutionen, also so wie Veiko, die verbrannt wird. I mean, yeah, I mean, the question I have is, if, when you have here the destruction of Jerusalem and the punishment of the first fruits or the firstborn of Egypt, whether, as you suggest, it's the same thing or whether it's 
because people get punished, but also already Babylon gets punished. You know? Die Frage, die ich habe, ist, wenn hier die Zerstörung von Jerusalem markiert ist, aber auch die Erstlings, äh, die Erstlingsfrüchte von Ägypten hier bestraft werden, ob das dasselbe ist, so wie Mark vorschlägt, oder ob das ähm, beides eben, äh, also Jerusalem und Babylon, dass die yeah, hier not, zerstört not werden. The work which is from Egypt. those people will be Egypt and the church because nobody from the Jews died. Yes, that's right. Also, it's like the church and the world, and the world would be like the Egyptians, because no one from the Jews died. So it says, it says, it says, it says, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the Egyptians. It says it very clearly. And he said, I will show the difference between my people and the
and uh, you know, that we can see where probation is still lingering and where it's already closed. And uh, how these different phases will follow one another. Wie diese verschiedenen Phasen aufeinander folgen werden. But in both phases we read who is able to stand. Aber in beiden Phasen haben wir gelesen, wer ist in der Lage zu bestehen. Who can uh, live in the sight of a holy God. Wer kann in, vor den Augen eines heiligen Gottes leben. Help us therefore to understand that when we receive this revelation it will be a shock to our system. Hilf uns deswegen zu verstehen, dass wenn wir diese Offenbarung erhalten, wird es für uns ein äh, Schock sein. And therefore that we would already prepare ourselves to not run away but to exercise faith in these moments. Und dass wir uns schon darauf vorbereiten, nicht wegzulaufen, sondern Glauben auszuüben in diesen Momenten. Help us therefore to learn now to exercise faith. Hilf uns deswegen jetzt zu lernen, den Glauben auszuüben. That we can stand in your strength in these days. Dass wir dann in diesen Tagen in deiner Kraft stehen können. And we ask and pray all this in Jesus' name. Wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen.